Hi guys, good evening from beautiful Mazatlan, where it was very sunny today, a lovely day today. I hope you watched that video I made this afternoon. Uh, I'm sitting here in the world headquarters, and you know something, having a YouTube channel just blows me away sometimes, and that's exactly what happened tonight. I got an email from a viewer, and he said, I heard you mention in a video that you're from New Brunswick. Are you talking about the New Brunswick that's near us? Because we live in Holton, Maine. H-O-U-L-T-E-N-O-N. I'm not sure how you spell it. I'm sure you can find it on Google Maps. And, uh, yeah, E-N, I think. Anyway, that's not important. Um, Holton's a, a little town in eastern Maine that borders on New Brunswick, that beautiful exotic location I'm from, and it's at the northern terminus of the I-95. So if you're in Miami and you drive as far freaking north as you can drive on the 95, you'll end up in Holton, Maine. And I used to live just across the border in Woodstock, New Brunswick. And uh, I was working for a trucking company at that time, Day and Ross. And they were in Heartland, New Brunswick. And a lot of people, a lot of Americans can't understand when I say Heartland. I don't know why. H-A-R-T-L-A-N-D. Heartland. And uh, anyway, <clears throat> we rented a house down by the river. It was a great little house. $300 a month or something. On about an acre of land with a beautiful view. But we go across to Holton all the time to get groceries, gas, buy beer, Everything was cheaper in Maine. And, man, that comment just, like, it just brought so much back to me from 30 freaking years ago. And, I, like, oh, my God. And so I've asked. I haven't got an answer yet because I just, this is literally minutes ago. I just, you're in Holton, Maine. How did you find my channel? It's like, like, nobody in Holton, Maine knows where Mazatlan is, do they? <laughs> Maybe they should. I hope he tells everybody in Maine about my channel. That'd be a million viewers. And <laughs> I think that's so cool. So anyway, I said, yeah, yeah, we're talking about the same place. And I said, I had an uncle who had two degrees. He had a degree in chemical, no. Mechanical engineering. Yeah, I think it was mechanical and chemical. And he used to be the, the honcho at big pulp and paper mills up in the Great White North. And he ran the mill at Millinocket, Maine, when I was about 12 years old, like a long, long time ago. And he ran the mill at Rumford, Maine. And I remember he set the world record for paper production at that mill and Rumford beating his own record that he'd had for a Macmillan Blodell mill in St. John, New Brunswick. And then in subsequent years, we're talking over a span of 50 years, he was also the manager at a mill in Madawaska, Maine, which is way up in northern Maine. <clears throat> his name was Albert. And then his uncle, my dad's uncle as well, was a guy named Gordon White. And Gordon was an engineer, a civil engineer, for the Bangor and Rustic Railroad. So, if you're not from Maine, or way up in the Great White North, you probably never heard of the Bangor and Rustic Railroad. And I actually told a story on this channel at one point, when I was visiting San Diego, about going down to old San Diego, and going to look at this HO scale railway that they had set up in old San Diego with hundreds of cars and scenery like, I don't know, they had probably uh, 3,500, 5,000, who knows, 5,000 square foot house, just full of miniature railway. And I happened to notice one of the cars was Bangor and Rustic Railroad. And I said to the old guy that was running it there, I said, that's so funny. And I told him the story about Gordon. And I said, Gordon, my uncle Gordon was a civil engineer for Bangor and Aroostook Railroad for many, many, many years. 
And he'd be the kind of guy that would build the rail beds, build the bridges, build whatever they needed, whatever civil engineers do, uh, parking lots, whatever you need. And he said to me, that's so funny, he said, we swap out these cars probably once a week. We got thousands of them. For you to come in here and see that, that's amazing. For me to get a comment tonight from a viewer in Holton, Maine, just beyond belief, just stunning. <laughs> like, so cool. It just made my day. So, gonna have one more Pacifico. Hey, I got a plan tomorrow. Um, I hope she feels all right. I was talking to Cynthia today. She's kind of down with the flu, or not the flu, but the grip. She's, she's not feeling well. She didn't go to work today. Uh, but she wants to take me tomorrow to the Juarez Market on Christmas Eve. <laughs> oh, that ought to be a freaking zoo. So, hey, hit your subscribe button. Hit the like button. Really appreciate all you guys watching. Really appreciate the comments. But the comment, I got to tell you, from Holton, Maine, that's one of the best I've ever seen on my channel. <laughs> like, how the hell did you find my channel? Oh, yeah, and I told him my Uncle Gordon, great Uncle Gordon, beautiful cottage in Camden, Maine. Oh, stunning. Camden, Maine's one of the prettiest, prettiest villages you'll ever visit anywhere in the world, but certainly in the United States of America. And, and, and I, I kind of wondered, whatever happened to that? My brother says, oh, Gordon gave it to his neighbor for a dollar when he heard he was dying. Oh, what is that? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I like Mexico. It's all good. Guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.